So I love I am. If I not, he's not me, I'm a fitting man out of deal. I had a fort him. I got in the ring with a lion, a bear, a gorilla. I fight. Come on, man. 50 million. I'm live. That's right. Miss Blood Green. Michelle Sister Tyson is a homo. He ducking me. He reneging on me. They told me he would fight me any place, anywhere, any time. I got a letter. Don't mean nothing. I want the right letter. If I open, reopen my criminal charge on Tyson, I'm going to reopen the court to charge him. He's going to fight me. The next fight Tyson going to fight is going to be with me. And nobody else but me. Man, the gangster Miss Green say he gon' box, you know, uh, Mike Tyson, you know what I mean? They set that shit up, that boy Mike then went 10 rounds for the first time in the fight before. Then that boy say, hey, you know what I mean? Four days later, he gon' fight the blood, Miss Green. Now that boy Miss Green was ranked higher than Mike, but at the same time, you know what I mean? Mike was that hot coming young nigga coming up, so he got... The bread, which was like 250k, and then that boy Mitch only had like 30, and that boy was mad. Like so, so like right before the fight, that boy was like I ain't even gonna fight. But then shit, they was like the title on the line. If you win, you might can fight for the title. So he was like, fuck it, I'ma do it. He was still mad, but he still did it though, cause he wanted that belt. You know what I'm saying? And Mitchell Green now making his way as the official word. In the meantime, Mitchell Green has some business to take care of. Warrior makes him feel like he doesn't look like some former your age difference. I'm not sure. Three nights down, we don't fight automatically. So that between Larry Holmes and Michael Smith. Now that boy Mike, so he, he came out the gates like coming at this boy Mitch. So Mitch really couldn't, you know what I mean, get no space. That nigga was in, up in him, you know what I'm saying? He just was a little bit late, so we'll see what he does about that against uh, a little reluctant to go full speed on 10 rounds. Mitch Green is doing, he's trying to tie up. Yeah, man, if y'all was watching, y'all see that boy Mike was just, you know, dominating the whole fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, after every round, that boy would come straight up, keep coming, but that's Mike Tyson. Y'all know how Mike do, bell ring, he a, he a young animal, he don't care, he's still coming at your boys. But yeah, that boy uh, knocked that boy mouthpiece out a bunch of times, man, like three, four, five times. It's just crazy, man. But that boy Mitch did get with him though, like round eight, just a little quick moment. It was it was double Mike. It didn't phase Mike. Cause you know that Mike, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, little mouthpiece, bro, man, that shit crazy. But yeah, man. Then he seemed to coast a little bit. Punches. Another big. He did pace himself. Just when that boy Mitch started getting with him, though, like that little ten minutes, ten seconds, he got with him. Mm -hmm. But then that boy Mike started smiling and shit. Yep. His best rally of the fight right here. Look here. No. He's caught Tyson four or five times, and Tyson. Man, it's crazy though, man. Them boys had a street fight, man. That boy. Mitch got his eyes swollen up like like it was crazy, man. But that boy Mitch was just hating on Mike, you know what I mean? Young nigga coming up, and he already lost to him. So, you know, niggas in his feelings, and he was in his so-called hood. You know, when he a blood, he up at 4 in the morning type shit. You know what I mean? Listen, we listen, listen to this drinking and, and we were in D.C., so we drove all the way back. And so we came back, so let's go up there and get my clothes. We went in there, I got my clothes. We were all laughing. Everybody was laughing. So my back is turned from everybody, but everybody's laughing. And all of a sudden, everybody stopped laughing. And I'm talking stuff. Yeah, and these bitch ass niggas, yeah, you can't you imagine that shit. I'm waiting to get my stuff. I turned around, Mitch Green's in this motherfucker. And these guys all scared. They don't want to talk. I said, oh shit, Mitch fucking Green. Then he just started talking. What the fuck you doing in my hood, nigga? Disrespectful fucking That's nigga. That's fucking he crazy. The, you know, uh, you have, this is a disrespectful motherfucker. You have to see this motherfucker. You have no idea how disrespectful this motherfucker is. Oh, shit. That's when I just started punching him. And it was over quick. Yeah, I dropped him a couple of times, but he was high on angel dust, so he kept getting up. Right? Just like Friday the 13th, the fucking Michael Myers, that guy. <laughs> Boom, I knock him cold. <laughs> Boom! He gets back up. Woo! I said, fuck! Right? So when I'm in the car now, so I'm, I'm in the car. I'm tired because I'm overweight a little bit. Comfortable doing it, but I was like, fuck, nigga. I hurt my hand on this motherfucker, right? Uh. But then I'm, he, I'm in the car. 
He rushes to my car. He breaks in my Rolls Royce. He breaks the side mirror. Boom! He breaks God it off. It. Right. I said, "Excuse me, one minute." I got out the car, and I, I hit Mitch, and Mitch went down, and he uh, bent over, and I grabbed his head, and I hit him. Boom! One time, and his head hit the floor, mm. and it hit the concrete. Boom! And I said, "Oh!" Then that's when he was out. Boom! And I got scared because he didn't move anymore when his head hit the concrete. And that's when I just ran. I ran and got oh, my concrete. Oh fuck, Mike! Out of here! I thought I killed him. I was so scared. I was nervous, you know, I haven't, I haven't had a fight, like a street fight in seven years, and I, I, was, I was scared, and I was getting paranoid because he was so close, he kept getting close to me, and I mean, so I defended myself. Who threw the first punch here? He did, he sucker punched me, because he's with his friends. Made contact, and Mike said, look, do not play me close, in other words, back off, don't get that close to me. So then Mitch grabbed his shirt and apparently went for his pocket because his wallet fell out. Mitch Green threw the first blow. Now, Mike Tyson did what any man, President of the United States, he punched him in the chest right around, you know, this area right here. Okay. And, I mean, Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. Mitch was on his back, legs up in the air like this. You know, and all you saw was his legs and he's laid out. Man, out of the week, but hey, did y'all know that Mike's wife was this uh, female right here? I did not know that. Robin Givens, yeah, that little chick was on what's it called, Cosby Show and shit like that. Can't even remember, but I ain't even know they were married. I'm born in 1990. Okay, good. Start with your name. Yeah, my name is Miss Green. I'm here to tell people just what happened last night. Now, I was sitting there arguing with these pedestrians, talking about me and Mike Tyson. And I said, I will call him a sissy, whatever. And um, police, they liked what I was carrying on. They took me and made me take a drug test. They made me take a drug test. It came out negative. And then they had, they had nothing else to try with it. They put me in the zap gum, they zap gum me and all that. Now, I was just called police brutality. They made me take a drug test. Now, it comes to find out they had nothing to chop me with. They're going to try me with just only conduct. They said, I'm lying. How did the drug test come out? Come out negative. They took a drug test, came out negative. Now they had nothing else to charge me with. So now all of a sudden, this all the conduct. So, so, so the judge walked me in and released me. That's why I'm out today. And I'm out now. Okay, what are your plans now? What are you, you know, what are you going to well, do Well, the same token, like I said, I want to fight Tyson. I'm still a fighter. I don't kind of deal with my lawyers. Man. Safe to say, my boy Mitch is still trying to get down with Mike Tyson to this day. Man. When Mike had that fight, he was like, you should have fought with me with that. With yeah, what what were you thinking that day you did that? I was trying to get a fight with this chump, man. I thought I feel, I feel like call him out his name, you do something. And that didn't work. The boy scared to death. After you had the street fight, the boy scared to death. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't, didn't y'all have a street fight, Mitch? I was for the ring, before the for the street. Now I saw that, I said, oh, the guy got me a fruit cake. He said, oh, my God. And I was, I was saying this, thinking the man would do somebody. He wouldn't do nothing. Oh, man, well, he freaked me out. Did you know that actually Tyson and Sal are good friends and he comes to the show? He knew, look, 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 oh, there. Yeah, it's my Tyson. You see that? He got a lot too much. You don't know what like I know. Like I said, Miss Blood Green ain't no joke. My Tyson is just perfect, but I like coke. Oh, baby. Mike Tyson is too different. And I'm going to kick his booty. See, I got all those guys ducking me. Because I am, I am Miss Blood Green. And I ain't no joke.